But at least the drawbridge is down. What in the world? This is terrible. Nothing like this has ever happened before. My arrow suddenly burst into flames. Oh no. I just remembered I have business to attend back in the city. Well, seeing how the bridge is back down and all, I better get back to guarding my job in the city. And I'm not just saying that only to disappear on some adventure. Yoichi, the greatest archer, would never dream of such an act. Well, goodbye and good luck. And he drops some food for some reason. But whatever. So now we have lowered the drawbridge and... That also does something that is not superbly important. The moon is gorgeous in this game, but everything's gorgeous. So I need to, I need to just sit and marvel at the beauty sometimes. But yeah, by doing that, we have now. Um, can I get to Ami from where I am right now? Nope. We need to do a little hop. There we go. So by doing that, we can now use this Konohana blossom right here, which I believe will link us to a chain of other Konohana blossoms. That there they are. I was like, oh my gosh, I can barely see it on this background. <laughs> Maybe they're more visible during the daytime. I don't know. Oh, see now they look great. It's really it was against the sky. Yeah. Oh, crap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Don't want to be falling down right here. It's a long way to the to our death, our doom of death. So we'll do the dance of doom here. But yeah, this is what I was pointing out when I was on the ground earlier. Obviously, was that there's this chain of Konohana blossoms with seemingly no way to get to it, but now we do have a way to get to it. And if we stop here... Oh, wow, that barely... I was barely on screen. I believe, yep, we'll get a little boxy loxy. And it's daytime, which means we get the awesome music back. This place just has nice relaxing music, but might I say, the next area, which I will be going into in a couple minutes, has amazing music. It is so good. Like, I love the music here, and this, like, relaxing music is awesome. And it feels like what it is, is in, like, smaller areas, they like to have some, like, relaxing music. But in, like, the big epic areas, they always do, like, a big epic song. And, uh, what? Okay, what? 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 Can I still do this? It wasn't... the chain was not attaching to my doggy. This is bad. Like, I can't get... Okay, that was not fair. So, I smartly let Amaterasu drown. So it would start me back here instead of where I was before. Seriously though, like... The vine wasn't attaching properly, I feel like. Like, that was very bothersome. And it might happen again! Because I can't get Amaterasu on screen with this Konohana Blossom. There we go. Man, I guess I gotta... Be a little more on the ball. Gotta be a little more proactive with these vine grapples. Otherwise I will fall because my camera angles will send me into a fervor of misfortune. There we go. This is a much, much better camera angle. This is the blossom that I effed up on last time. See, the problem is though, sometimes like... Oh, like this camera angle right here. There we go. Oh my gosh. I don't, really don't know why this, of all things, is giving me so much trouble right now. Basically, you kind of need to- oh no. Oh no. We're doing something really dumb here. Do I have one on me? I, got, I have to do this if I want to make it, because I just- Apparently, in Matarasu, I'm not at a point in the game where I have enough ink to actually do this without using an in Infinity Stone, which... Silly me, I didn't even- I didn't even think about the fact that I just don't have enough ink on me to do such a long chain of these, but oh well. Here we are, we made it. This would better be a damn awesome item. It's a stray bead, which actually, if you are collecting all the stray beads, it's a pretty cool item. So yeah, personally, I've never felt that the stray beads really had an amazing enough uh, reward to justify, like, the amount of work it takes to get them, but if you enjoy collecting things in games, I guess it's really not that bad to go after all the stray beads. As you can see, though, this area around here, now I was never sure, I feel like this is because we blew it up. But part of me also thinks that maybe this area was already messed up because of the curse that apparently is near Seon City, as they were saying when we talked to people. But like, I was never sure if the game, if this was like this and it was trying to be like 
this is like this because you blew this whole thing up. Yeah, I guess that's actually probably the reason. Like, this can't be from the curse. This is exactly where the buildings were. So yeah, if you're a nice little doggy, you can go back and fix up all these little um, patches of land that you destroyed. So even though there's a blown up building on it, by the way, holy shit though, this is just like free, uh, free praise central. I was about to say experience, and if I had said the word experience, that would mean I'm rather inexperienced at this game. Oh, I didn't think I did it enough. Actually, I've actually never demonstrated what happens if you don't paint enough um, lines on these things, because you actually can fail to paint the proper amount. Oh, and did that get the whole area? Was that the last one? Well, I guess it's the last one on this side. Get a little digger, digger, digger wiggle. I was gonna say digger wigger, but I was like, that sounds weird. All right? Oh, birdies, birdies to feed, and we can use this feedback. But yeah, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, fixing up the damage that I did, and at least um, somehow the magic of a Matarasu, or should I guess I say, it's not magic because Matarasu's god makes so all these blown up buildings go away when you. Let's see here. So. There. That's what happens if you don't draw enough, because was that's what I was talking about earlier, was you can actually not draw enough, like, rejuvenation stuff on the ground, and it will just be like, yeah, fuck you. This area is more evil and more desecrated than you can possibly fix with one little line of flowers. And hopefully this restores the greater beauty to this side, and I get rid of all these ugly blown up buildings. Yep. You know what? I beautified the area. And there's a freaking panther over here. Or no, what? Oh, those are horses. <laughs> Sorry, from the angle I was at. Oh, no, no, horses like... Yeah, herbs. That makes a lot more sense than seeds. Seeds are like little chittery style animals. Excuse me, I had to take a sip of my water because I had an instantaneous voice problem there for a second. But yeah, now we finally, because I was so enthused about getting everything done over there. See here, you'll probably find the, pa uh, the pace of the city like pretty shocking, considering how you were stuck out in the boonies for a hundred years. As for me, I can't wait to check out all the cute babes. So yeah, I was gonna say... We're finally going into Ryoshima Coast after... I decided to like, get everything. Hey, what the heck's going on? Orochi's stupid curse zone spread all the way here? I mean, this is even past the city checkpoint, and besides, we already did away with that sneaky serpent. I can't believe the curse zone hasn't gone away yet. It must have been one strong curse for this wasteland to survive, even after its maker croaked. Still, I wonder. So obviously, him saying, still, I wonder, was a little bit of foreshadowing, and it was a little bit of dramatic irony, where it's like, there's gotta be some sort of greater thing at work here that you don't know about. And he is quite correct, actually, but so we'll come down this way because it's the only way not affected by the curse zone, but something else is apparently going to... Oh! A new enemy! Who apparently has a big rock on his back and... Um... I just think I just want to slash him and see what he does. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's just like the earlier imps. I'm not 100% sure. Wow, he has a lot of health, so luckily we have moves to deal with that called cherry bombs and that will take quite a bit of his health away really quickly and yep that leaves him with just enough for me to get a couple slashes off and I'm gonna risk it I don't know what his floral finisher is that was not it um his floral finisher might be cherry bomb because he's like made of stone okay really badly on time I did as much damage as like I could be doing in that fight this game's Stupid and badly designed. Alright, so if you come over here really quickly. Oh, yep, and so you can't. Oh! I was about to say you can't go down there because of the curse zone, but it doesn't even, like, let you try to go down there. Like, I thought you could at least run into the curse zone and the game would be like, ugh, you're getting fucking sick as hell because you're trying to go to the curse zone like an idiot. So let's see here. I was like, where? Oh, yep, can't go there. So yeah, pretty much as with every new area that you go into with the curse zone. It'll pretty- the curse zone will basically- oh... The curse zone will basically direct you 
to um where oh to where your thing is. So by the way, what's interesting about this, I noticed um when I first played the game, I thought this was cool. I think that game design is awesome when they purposely try to give you like a hint. So by the way, I'm feeling that for no reason because I'm gonna talk about this. So this is here to show you the gamer to do this. And I always think that's really clever game design when instead of telling you exactly what to do, the game gives you a hint like putting an object that we've already done that with just kind of like cast aside over here. And of course, you're naturally like, um, how do I, what am I supposed to be doing here? And you're like, oh, there's a sake, there's like that, uh, the water bucket that we saw Kushi earlier collecting water in. And now we see water here, so it's like, of course, what does the game want us to do? I was like, come on, put me at a better angle. And of course, you put water from down there into the top. And I just, I don't know. It's not that significant. But for somebody like me who really likes to marvel at good game design, because I, I really do appreciate some... I appreciate me some really good game design. I felt like that was legit. Like, it was a legit way to show the gamer without directly telling them what to do, what what they wanted them to do, in case you can't, like, figure it out on your own. And here's this. So yeah, as you can see, whatever is here is dead and not happy. But we can fix that! With a little bit of a plant's best friend next to the sun. Water. And of course, it's a it's an adorable little Guardian sapling who has been starved, has been thirsted for water, and now it has all the tools for photosynthesis. But of course, there's one more ingredient that's missing: power of the gods. I don't think I'm far enough away for that to. Okay, I didn't know if it had to go around like the whole tree or not. So I figured I would shut my dirty whore mouth and crank up the tunes during that gorgeous rejuvenation scene, because seriously, it's like beautiful and I'm not gonna mess that up by just like chit chat jib jabbering all over that shit. So you see that sunken ship? I don't remember ever seeing it there before. But anyway, Ryoshima Coast is where you'll find the big city. Seon City is just a bit of a walk from here, you'll find almost anything you can imagine there. How about we mosey over, Furball? Um, and... Bringing beauty, of course, brings... Adorable little birdies... That we can feed. And they can give us an adorably... Small amount of praise. Which, holy, holy crapsers! I just noticed that I've got 401 of the big ones. And of course, by the big ones... I mean, um... What do I mean? By the way, I can't break this yet. No matter how hard I try, but soon, my friends, I will be able to break that. There's also one other thing that I wanted to do at the moment. Oh yes, I was just talking about it. I was about to be like, speaking of praise, I can level up something. And I think, because I was struggling a bit earlier with my lack of ink pots when I was trying to get to that item way off to the side to get to that stray, what was it? I was like, it's a stray bead. Ooh, feed, ooh. I scared these buffaloes away. I guess these are just cows. These are not buffalo. And they will probably want herbs? Yes, they will want herbs. Sweet herbs, delicious for cows. Make them believe in the gods. Also, well, I guess they believe in you, but I don't know if they know you're a god. I'm like, why does... Oh, and I can't break that yet. I was like, why do... Why do animals, like, be like, oh, fucking wolf is giving me... This wolf is giving me food. Must be because of the gods. Oh, by the way. 
now that we're not going to get blocked going over. Look at all this stuff that just wasn't here before because evil had taken over the world. There's like adorable clovers everywhere. Oh, this game is... Okay, I'm going to talk about... As I always like to talk about things that I love, I love certain game design elements. One of them... Oh, it's a shortcut! Cool! Alright, so now there's a little shortcut here. We can come back here whenever we want, get to the fortune teller. Which also means, by the way, we can do this, and that will uh, give me a good leeway into something a little bit later on that I'm going to show. Because it'll make so I can take a quick shortcut somewhere. But anyways, one game design element that I like is when you really get rewarded for exploring in a game. And I know you might be like, well, don't, isn't that any game? But if you think that, you're wrong. There are so many games where you get... Oh, okay, so this is the temple. There are so many games, in my opinion, where you really don't get a reward for exploring. You run around, you do stuff, and there's like, there's not little objects hidden around the map. You know what I mean? And in this game, the whole area everywhere is just like cluttered with little objects here, little objects there, little objects everywhere. And you just have to like use an ability to get to them, and then you get to do the fun stuff. So I'm not sure how much usable footage I actually have from this recording session. Let's see here. It's such a shame about the ship stranded out there on the rocks. I mean, it was so close to the port. But then it was attacked by that terrifying water dragon and sunk. People say there's an invaluable treasure in it too. But the water dragon makes it too dangerous to sail these seas. Water dragon? Let's keep talking to this guy. He's obviously got a lot to say. You should think twice about bathing there, you know. The water dragon wouldn't hesitate to snap up a wolf like you. What's this water dragon you keep talking about? You don't know about the water dragon? The huge dragon god rampaging about the sea and seas here. It's supposed to be the god of the sea, keeping peace in the oceans. But one day it just went crazy and started attacking people. All the ships bringing food out to the city, uh, food to the city were sunk by it. The queen must have been beside herself. Apparently there's an invaluable treasure in the ship over there. But it's been left like that ever since the water dragon sunk it. Oh my gosh, more to say? Interested in the invaluable treasure on the ship, are you? Apparently it was carrying a huge cargo of treasure. I heard about this weird mallet that makes you as small as a bug. You can get through gaps as small as the eye of a needle with it. I can't think of what on earth you could use it for, though. Looks like you were expecting some cash instead, huh? Anyway, you really shouldn't be bathing here. And, okay. So yeah, I was gonna say, um, I don't know how much usable material I got today, because when I was playing the digging minigame, I'm not gonna lie, it took me quite a few attempts to finish it, so it's really hard for me to put in perspective when I'm recording how much material I got while I was like doing a mini game and not talking for like three or four attempts in a row. But as you can see, um, right now, that we have gotten to Ryushima Coast, there is an adorable- what? Come on, that was a great bloom. Actually, it was pretty ugly. In fact, so is that one. Let's make a nice, pretty bloom. Gorgeous. So as you can see, this tower is way too tall for me to do anything about, and I will show you what happens, by the way, if you, like, jump towards it. Isun's just like, are you a fucking idiot? There's no way that you can climb this. But then he's like, I don't even think you could do the wall jump of yours. You'd probably just bang your head on the ceiling. Of course, it'd be different if you had double, double the jumping power. So that's kind of a hint, obviously, it puts that in red. There's going to be a point in the game where we get double jumping power. And it's not going to be yet. And in fact, I'm going to end this episode right here. In the next episode, we're going to head for Seon City, and we're going to try and figure out how to get double the jumping power. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.